You heard that? I forgot that it was like fall in other places. In Chicago. Go ahead, introduce yourself. You're already talking. Oh, are we on? Yeah, we're on. Oh, Tell hi. Who you are. Hey, what's up? It's Ian Summerholder. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you know him. He's an actor, a businessman, and of course an executive producer as well. And you definitely recognize him from his roles on the shows Lost and Vampire Diaries. But you've stepped into really like a new role as executive producer. Um, I know in 2020 you have the documentary Kiss the Ground. It's still on Netflix. I yep. watched it. Thank it's you. incredible. And now you have a sequel to that, Common Ground. Talk about that. <clears throat> Thank you, by the way, for having me on. It's really great to be in Chicago. Listen, it's really simple. Common Ground is a love letter to our children, but it's a pathway to a far better future, meaning we can mitigate climate change by using regenerative agriculture. It's literally that simple. And the idea is, is that <clears throat> it's just the use of plant grazing methods and using living, growing plants, literally agriculture, to sequester enormous amounts of carbon dioxide, stick it safely back in the ground where it belongs. Now, when you do that, you feed all those vital microorganisms in the soil, healthier soil, healthier plant. But then guess what? Healthier people. Right. You know, more profits for farmers, higher tax bases, better schools. It's really positive, positive cascade of effects. It's really, it's really special. What made you, because obviously you were in a whole nother world, so to speak, uh, at least from what we saw, you know, when we would turn on our TVs, we saw you as this iconic actor. What was like going on in the background that led you to where you are now in terms of your love and your compassion for Earth? And farming. <clears throat> it's always been there. I grew up, <clears throat> excuse me, in southeast Louisiana. So you're, you learn very early the balance of sort of nature. But in 2011, I unknowingly shot the first footage of Kiss the Ground in Zimbabwe in 2011 with Alan Savory on his amazing place um, uh, near Victoria Falls. Seeing that this it's holistic land management works, that soil regeneration practices work. Um, we realize we're going to literally build the largest, single largest carbon capture food economy in the world that will be worth hundreds and hundreds of billions of dollars here in America between the Carolina coast and the California coast. So it works and farmers make more money. So when you take the farmers off the drip of the agrochemical companies, farmers can make up to four, say $400 an acre. Wow. Now run these numbers really quickly, just two seconds. Uh -huh. Say there's 200 million acres of grain in the US, like production acres. Multiply that times $400 a year. That is what we are sending to overseas companies who make all of these agrochemicals. Instead wow. of putting that into the farmer's pockets, imagine that in small towns in Iowa, Kansas, Indiana, Here. Nebraska, Illinois. Right. That money, that 50, 80, 100 billion dollars a year should go into farmer's pockets, not into foreign entities. When did Does you that make sense? Yeah, it makes complete sense to me. Um, and obviously, Kiss the Ground was very uh, influential when you look at how the USDA then moved yeah. as a result of that documentary being out there. Um, We're super grateful to the USDA to, and, and sort of them stepping up and saying, hey, we understand <clears throat> that soil regeneration is the only way to the future, um, and, and, and it works, you know? It does work. Um, and obviously, your documentary moved them in a way that they believe it works, too. So yeah. what is your hope now with Common Ground being out there? Policy. Because that's such a weird word. And this isn't about politics. This is about policy and how good people can ben benefit from good policy and how we can sort of rebuild this country, stitch it back together through healthy soil. All we need, and this is, it, and it can happen from the office of the president, it can happen from the congressional chambers, we just need to change the farm bill. We need to take out some of these ridiculous subsidies that are really, you know, it's mired in a lot of kind of crazy stuff. But when we adjust the farm bill and give farmers the money to teach other farmers, so that farmer, farmers teaching farmers, that's how it spreads. So just with Kiss the Ground, we had... 30 million acres transition from conventional to regen within three years. Wow. And we're going to do the next 70 million acres over the next three years. So we want to get to that 100 million acres uh, threshold because we know then it'll never go back. It'll only go forward. So we created uh, 100millionacres.org, which is a pledge from companies to just change their supply chain, not spend millions of dollars, just change their supply chain to 10% regenerative over the next couple years. It's not a huge lift, but it's a huge lift, if you know what I mean. We need Congress to change the Farm Bill. 
And once we reappropriate that money, farmers are going to start teaching other farmers. There's a guy, <laughs> a huge hero of ours, this guy Rick Clark in Indiana, and he's the one in the movie in Common Ground talking about that he saves $2 million a year. He's a farmer. But he's using his own money to bring farmers together to teach them. It shouldn't be on him to right, do that. to do it. We have plenty of money in the farm bill. And when that changes, the agricultural economy in this country is going to explode. People are going to make more money. We're going to pull them off of the drip of the big agrochemical companies. Tax bases are going to go up because their profits are going to be higher. Schools are going to get better. Water districts are going to get better. Like, just, it's amazing what can happen, yeah. but we just need that to happen. And that's what was so amazing about being in Capitol Hill and being able to talk to a lot of these <coughs> senators and, and um, <clears throat> members of Congress. It's a special time, but we got to move now. I believe that. Um, I know that you have some showings coming up here. Um, yeah. Is your goal to uh, eventually get this on Netflix as well it's or hot. streaming service? Really great question. People say, what is the goal right now? Get into theaters, right? Yeah. Please, get into theaters. Um, if you can't make it to the theater, buy someone else a ticket. Because what we have to do is show from the middle out. People are watching this film. People are waking up. So get into those theaters. Buy the tickets. Again, if you can't go, buy it for someone else. Because you would not believe the level of censorship on this film already. Wow, really? The, and it will go unnamed. But the big media companies will not even review the film because they don't want this message out there. So the other big thing is, is don't censor Common Ground. Um, I, I don't want to get into the details of right, it, but there right. is so much censorship on this I can film. believe that. I, I would have that. never thought this is like well, the most amazing thing ever. I would think ever. advertisers uh, are all tied into it as well. So Everything's tied in. So we do, it, we do it together, and we do it through building it through theaters. Um, we don't know uh, what platforms this is going to be streaming on. But, oh, there it is. There it is right there. November 3rd through 9th, Chicago Heights. Yep. November 10th, um, AMC at Northbrook. November 18th, Music Box Theater. Um, and, oh, oh, you can also request a screening in your area for commonground.org, um, and we will hopefully get it into your area. We launched that, and we had 3,000... People um, would go on there? Well, we had 3,000 requests for new theaters in the U.S. Oh, that's awesome. So it's a really big deal, and um, obviously you can see how excited and passionate I am about this, but there is such a timeline, and, um, and we can do it together. Just get into those theaters. Yeah, so you can go request again. That's on Common Ground film.org real quickly before we let you go Tell you're me. doing this work what else you got cooking in your life oh man um <clears throat> we're got some alcohol that you're... yeah we're building brothers bond <laughs> yeah um, pretty good too it's oh thank you we're i drink whiskey i and that's so awesome <laughs> it, you know what it's been such an amazing thing and being back in chicago is one of the one of the cities we really got to, to launch this thing in, um, being here with, with our Brothers Bond team and sharing it with the good people in, the, in Chicago and in the Chicago area is really special. Okay. Um, we, were, we were at, uh, at uh, Bub City last night. Every, you know, and we were at Untitled. We were at these places. There's live music going on. There's people rejoicing. There's pe like, this town is really special. Yes, it is. They're telling me we got to go. Oh, I'm sorry. No, hey, thank okay. you, Chicago. We could keep talking all day. Uh, I appreciate you being here again. Thank you. Go to the website right there on the bottom of your screen. We'll be right back.